All right, so here is my first prototype for a mini DIY bioreactor. Uh, just to note, this has definitely been done before by several people, but I don't think there's one that's quite as cheap as this. Um, I haven't been able to find one that costs less than $500 to build, and this one right now is about $20 in supplies, considering you have a 3D printer. So some of the features that I want to include in this bioreactor is of course a stir. So this is a 3D printed stir that is connected to a little uh, three volt DC motor. That motor will definitely have to be upgraded. Um, I've already plugged this in once and I think I already burnt it out. So we'll see if it works when I plug it in now. I wanna have air supplies. So you can see there's a piece of tubing connected to a five volt air pump. Um, the air pump is about $5. That little DC motor is probably $2. This uh, 16 by two LCD display is about $5 as well, depending on where you get it from. Everything is gonna be controlled by this Arduino Nano. Those are about $2, depending on where you get it from. And then I just have a five volt, uh, two amp, so 10 watt power supply powering the whole thing. So I'm gonna turn it on and see what it says. Oh, I also want to control the temperature. So the third thing is this temperature probe. I think they're also about $5 online. Um, I don't think the temperature probe is working right now. I think it has something to do with the Arduino because I've tried replacing it once already, but um, that's just the idea there. And in the future, I want to have a heat wrap so that I can have temperature control. And I also want all of the parts to be autoclavable. So right now the lid is uh, 3D printed with ABS and so is the stirrer. And I don't think those are autoclavable, but I could be wrong. So let's turn it on. All right, so the display is working. I have it set up where the air pump and the stirring only runs if um, I plug them in. So I just have this loose wire for one and then another loose wire for the other one and then I just connect it to the little wiring harness to get it to run. So let me set up a tripod so I can use my other hand to plug it in. Okay, so I have it set up from the side so that you can actually see the bubbling and the stirring through the glass. So this wire here is for the bubbling, so we'll plug that in. So the oxygen supply is working well. Um, I might want to have this adapted at some point to supply pure oxygen. But I think for most cultures, um, just air is, is plenty. So this wire is for the stirring. I, uh, I doubt this will work, but I'm going to try. There it goes. Okay, so I definitely need a more powerful DC motor sort of as predicted um, and you can tell in the bubbling that it's drawing too much current so I have a 3 volt DC motor running on uh, 5 volts 2 amps which is a little much and it's trying to stir this water and there's a lot of friction so that will definitely be upgraded in the next iteration So it currently smells like burning plastic in here, which is really nice. Um, but I wanted to show this very first prototype um, just because I think it would be interesting to get some feedback on the design um, and any suggestions that people might have for um, improving maybe the control or um, improving the components that are used or sourcing materials that will be autoclavable. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and I will get to all of them. Thanks for watching. Bye.